Hello everyone! I was asked to make videos for beginners, so let's try. If you have any specific topic in mind, drop a comment below this video. I will start with very basic, so you just started the game for the very first time, what to do? Even if you are experienced flight or space sim player, I would recommend you to go straight to training first, choose the first training mission, target practice, because there will be no one shooting at you and you can take your time, set up your controls, graphics, input controls and test all changes right away. And first what you probably will want to do is press left control left alt plus F and you see bottom left corner frame rate per second. If you are satisfied, fine, if not, go to escape options and graphics. Play with these settings until you are satisfied. But anyone should try out one thing, it's called field of view, set it to left, all the way left, and check it out how it looks like on your screen. We have different setups, somebody may be playing on three screens, somebody plays on big screen, somebody is far away from screen, so just try it out, make all the way left, and then try all the way right, to see the difference and what you prefer. As you see, I have now much wider field of view, so play with it until you are satisfied, at least that you should do. I like to have it around the middle, so around here. Let me turn off frame rate, Control Alt F. What you should do now is go straight to controls, up again press escape, options, controls. The list is huge and with each update the list is just growing bigger and bigger. At the top you can pick from some already pre-made presets, classic keyboard, generic joystick, keyboard and mouse and I use Cytec X55, I can use already pre-made or I can use my custom, I like my custom. If you have trouble setting up, try Google. There are many user-made presets, even with pictures and with files that you can just copy over, binds. But I use custom one. So let's just go through and I will try to tell you which ones you should use, in my opinion, and which ones I don't care. You can actually see if I don't have any, then probably it's not useful. But it all depends how convenient each key is and how many available keys your controllers have. Of course you have to have 6 degrees of freedom in space, so pitch, yo, roll, throttle, Lateral and vertical thrusters must be set. For most, if not all, axes you can set dead zones. You have specific binds for mouse, but I don't use mouse, so I ignore those completely. Flight rotation, yo axis, yo left, yo right, but it's digital input. That's why there are so many rows. If you use keyboard, you should use digital input. If you use hot test, rudder pedals or any other analog input, you should use analog input. This is analog input for controlling ship's roll. And this is analog input for controlling ship's yo. This is pitch analog input. Again, if you have digital, then you should use these two up and down. Flight thrust, lateral thrusters, vertical thrusters. I use rudder pedals for my lateral and vertical thrusters. It's very intuitive and very useful. I also had to return my Cytec X55 last year and in the meantime I've used Thrustmaster stick with keypad.
so those keys are left over from that. You can invert axis to dead zones to almost all axes, so if you have any trouble, just go and search on the right, you see description for each action. Here is throttle, analog input again. You can have forward only or full range. I don't need full range. If I press joystick key 2, my forward throttle is becoming in reverse. Easy. Again, this is digital input. And for digital input you can set continuous or increment size. You can set speed to specific if you use digital input like keyboard. You can have a button for 0% speed for 75%. 75 plus 75 percent is used in Super Cruise. Also 50% is useful because it will set your speed in blue sweet spot for best turn rate. Just try them out and see how it handles for you. Landing overriding. Pitch axis roll. If you need to change when your landing gear is out to something different, you can use these settings. I don't have any specific set for this and probably also should ignore this part. Flight miscellaneous, flight assist off, on and off, you can turn with this key bind. Also, it's available to write user interface functions tab. You have to roll, you can switch by pressing a key. In example, if you don't have yo on your stick, you can press a key and use rolling into yo. Because not all sticks have three axes in it. In example, just master Warthog doesn't have three axes. Engine boost, you need this definitely in fight or just in regular flight. It will increase your maximum speed for a short time. It will bleed down to your maximum speed pretty fast, but still, boosting is necessary. You can set one key for frame sheet drive or, in my case, two keys. Enable frame sheet drive to super cruise, it's one key. And Another key is enable frame sheet drive to hyperspace. If you are flying in Super Cruise and you want to exit Super Cruise, you should use this key. But you can have one key for both actions if you have not enough keys on your controllers. Rotational correction, I don't use it, I don't need it, it's always on. This is how your computer is compensating station's rotation. So if, when you fly inside station, if you have rotational correction on, your shift will automatically roll, so you will not feel station rotation. But if you turn it off, you will have to manually compensate station's rotation as well. Targeting. Select target ahead. If you see it in your field of view, more or less in the center of your field of view, with one click you can target, select this target. Cycle next ship, cycle previous ship. Also useful if you don't see them on your field of view, you can just target next ship or previous ship. Highest threat. I would say that they take the largest and biggest ship and mark it as the highest threat. If there are multiple enemies, it might be useful. Next hostile, previous hostile, I use it a lot. Select wingman 1, 2, 3. If you are in a wing, you can select any wingman just by one key press. And select wingman's target. So if, in example, wingman 1 is selected and he has a target selected, by pressing this key, you will have same target as he does. You can select wingman nav lock. If you have selected like wingman 1 and have a key here. But he needs to set his wing beacon on at right user interface functions tab. It can actually be done also at comms panel. Subsystem, you can cycle through next and previous subsystem. The subsystems are a targeted ship's subsystems. So you need to target the ship, wait for basic scan to complete. It takes like 4-5 seconds. You can cycle through all subsystems like drives, power plant, shields, weapons. All modules that targeted ship has, you can target.
gun sight system, leading or trailing. You can also select this at Red User Interface Functions tab. Next system in route if you have a route, Galaxy Map Land. Then, if you unselect next route, for example, you select something in your system where you are flying, then by one click you can target next hyperspace destination. Weapons. You can have two buttons for weapons, primary fire and secondary fire, and you can make up to eight fire groups and cycle between them. Usually one button is used for thermal weapons and other for kinetic weapons. Deploy hard points. This key is also very important because below you see firing deploys hard points on. Pressing any of keys, primary or secondary fire, will deploy my hard points. But I am not able to use frameshift drive unless my hard points are retracted, and to retract them you need a key. Cooling, it's silent running. It's also silent run can be set at right user interface functions tab, or you can bind the key. I don't need it. Here's a heatsink, you can deploy heatsink. You need to buy a module at stations outfitting. Heatsinks have four charges each. After that you need to buy and restock ammo for heatsink. Heatsink is fastest way to cool down your ship. If it's overheating, deploy heatsink and ship's temperature is dropping down fast. Miscellaneous ship lights also available through user interface functions tab. You can increase and decrease sensor zoom. And this is very important. It's power management. Divert power to engines, weapons, systems and reset. I will get into details in next video about power management, but you must have a keys for that. Reset Oculus Orientation or Trek IR. Cargo Scoop. Also available at right user interface functions tab. Ah, this Actually, you should unbind jettison all cargo. You don't need that. If you have it, sooner or later you will eject all cargo. You can eject cargo one ton or all cargo at right user interface cargo tab. So you don't need a key that will destroy all of your cargo contents. Landing gear. You need a key for that, otherwise you will not be able to dock, unless you like to go to right user interface functions tab each time. You will not be able to use frameshift drive if your landing gear is deployed. Microphones, shield cells. Shield cell banks are fastest way to recharge your shield. You need to buy shield cell bank module. And each module has limited charges. Depending on the class of module and rating, the charge size also is different. Chaff launcher. It releases a cloud of chaff that can fuse gimbal and turret weapons. So if enemy has gimbal or turret weapons for like 15 seconds probably. If you release chaff they will not be able to lock on you. But there is a bug now as far as I know it doesn't work like intended. Same deal you need to buy this module and restock chaff ammo. Mode switches its user interface. You can see on the right directly focus on the left side panel interface and directly focus on the right side interface. Ah, actually, classified camera, it's debug camera. You need to bind the key and you can view your ship from outside view. You can set the key for quick comms if you want to. There's a lot of keys as you see. Open galaxy map, system map, CQC screen, what else? Head looks I don't use. This also is important. This is navigation through your left and right user interface as well as comms panel, stations at shipyard in example, outfitting screen. This is how you navigate this. User interface panel up, down, left, right, select, back. Next panel tab and previous panel tab. You need these all to be binded. Head look. 
and galaxy map. I use mouse, so I don't care about these all. So this is what you should do actually before you start playing the game. And when you change something, go back to training screen, test it out. If you are satisfied, great. If not, go back to options controls and try again. Don't forget to write down on paper or print out your settings so you will have a template in front of you. You will get used very fast, so don't be afraid. So this is the very, very beginning how to start playing Elite.